Welcome back to another segment of The Girl Who's Scared of Everything. Today, we are finally, finally watching one of the most iconic movies to come out of 2023, and it's only February. Today, we are going to be watching This movie had so much buzz for it before it even came out, and when it came out, it was like an instant hit. Whether that was box office wise, but cultural relevancy, it was a hit. It was like right up there with Avatar making headlines, trending. Everybody was talking about Megan, and it was a must-see movie for so many people. I wanted to be in the theaters with everyone, but I could not do that to you guys. I needed to get the first time watch on camera. There are some movies where that is not necessary and this was just not one of them. I knew I had to watch it because it was just described as one of the most like absurd, amazing, like incredible things people have seen in their lives. And it was just like, they couldn't even put into words this movie. And I have been so excited to watch it. This cast is stellar. Like it is a great ensemble. Allison Williams from Girls and the famous Get Out. Violet McGraw, which you guys probably know her from The Haunting of the Hill House or, or Black Widow. She's a phenomenal actress and supposedly she's really good at this movie, which I, don't doubt for a second. I love her. I love her work. And of course, Penny Nickel Dime for the voice of Megan. Very exciting to see her career take off. I'm sure she does amazing because the clips I've seen from the trailer, she sounds awesome. I'm excited for it. I'm all for bringing creepy children back to horror. I think it's been a long time without it. I think the, the orphan kills, I think orphan first kill kind of revived the need for creepy children within horror movies. I think it's Nini a comeback, you know? So without further ado, it's time to watch Megan. Cause it's like when you see Bloomhouse, you know you're about to get the best movie you've ever seen in your entire life or the worst. Like there's no in between. And that's like one of my videos. It's like you turn it on and you're like, this is about to be the best thing I've ever watched or like literally a waste of my time. And I'll be begging to get those minutes back. I had a dog, she was my only friend, but she got old and died now. I'm alone again. Hey sweetie. Oh my I god, stop, pause. I like, like, I, 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 <laughs> like, it's like the beginning, it, this is like the first minute of the movie. Like, I don't know what to say. She got old and died, and now I'm alone again. I, oh my god, I like can't. Like, I, I like want to continue, but I don't. I like want to continue, but I don't. Sorry, dream come true because now That's a Furby. <laughs> Oh my God, that's the little alien from Chicken Little. The little guy. It's, she's just a little guy. And I'm kind of hoping they actually sell them because they're kind of really cute. <gasps> I'm so sorry I died. It's me, Maddie. I'm in heaven now. So sorry I died. I miss you so much. Wait for one of those snow trucks to clear the road. Oh, they're gonna get hit the fuck. <gasps> I knew it, I called it. The way the car came in slow motion was kind of funny. Is that my buffer on my screen? Ooh, you're so funny. You're not funny though, because I thought my screen recording was buffering. That was a really good logo though. I loved that. Oh, so clever. So brilliant already. Is that what I think it is? Okay, so Allison Williams is the toy maker and corrupted and <laughs> who got her the toy. Um, it's not a race condition. I might have forgotten to put in the polypropylene barrier. Oh no. God. Tess, turn it off. I just love how much more complex the story got because I thought it was just going to be something they ordered online and then they didn't know anything about it. I didn't know she was going to be making it from inside and out and that the first like trial run of Megan was gonna be on her literal niece. That's so amazing. She's like, if Megan were real, it could have shielded her body from the car crash. It could have actually leapt over her and protected her body from everything. 
Welcome home, Gemma. You have six unanswered voice messages and five Tinder notifications. Elsie, turn off. I am so ecstatic about knowing and not even knowing full with proof, like just knowing in my heart that whoever wrote this script definitely submitted it to like Black Mirror, like, right? Like they definitely submitted it to Black Mirror and they were like, this is gonna be the next Black Mirror episode. Cause it feels like one, cause obviously it's surrounding technology and it fits Black Mirror perfectly. And then they got it approved for a full fledged movie. And I love that. That is the best headcanon I can come up with for the, for the backstory of this movie. If we don't get this pet's prototype time soon, he's going to sue us. Okay, I don't think you can be worrying about work right now, Jem. Right now, I think you just need to focus on Katie. Hmm. <laughs> she does not seem very shook up that her sister just died. <laughs> like, she seems very chill with the fact that her sister just died. Like, she's not shed a tear. <laughs> not one. But the problem with toys like Bruce is that they're so expensive and most kids can't afford to have one. If I had a toy like Bruce, I don't think I'd ever need another toy again. But that's horrible in the sake of like a company that manufactures toys, right? If I had a toy like Bruce, I would never need another toy again. No, you want people to buy more toys. Do you remember how much you liked Bruce? I think you're gonna like Megan even more. Dude, of course she's like, this weird ass kid is gonna love Megan so much. Oh, I hate this. I'm here, and when you do that, you're gonna pair with her. That means she will recognize you as her primary user. She's yours. Oh my God, me when I watched Big Hero 6 and I was like, how can I make this weird? <laughs> how can I make this really creepy? Shall we draw? What are you going to draw? See if you can guess. Cause it's like you had to pick a weird kid to be able to be okay with this. Cause most kids would be like, what is that? I am scared. Like I want to go home, but this kid is so weird that she's like loving it. That's so funny. Oh my God. With the sunglasses. Ah. Autonomous humanoid robot with features never before seen in the consumer market. And this one is my favorite. Oh, like she is actually a little freak for loving this so much. She is so weird and I love her. Customized through six different. It's like American girl. Oh my God. You can get different ethnicities. Whether it's diagnosing children with specific learning differences or merely reminding them. If Megan diagnosed me with something, I would be so upset. Like if I grew up to realize my diagnosis was diagnosed by Megan, I don't know why it would piss me off. She'll never run out of ways to keep your child occupied. Yes. She'll never run out of patience. Katie, seriously, flush the toilet. But what happens when you grow up? Is she gonna be like a mean teenager when you grow up? Or is like it only for one age or like a certain age range? With Megan around, she'll take care of the little things so you can spend more time doing the things that matter. I cannot believe she made this just so she didn't have to take care of her recently orphaned niece. That's why she made this. That's what pushed her over the edge was because she wanted to do more work instead of looking after her dead sister's child. <laughs> Megan, what's wrong? Megan's quite beautiful. <laughs> Megan is actually kind of stunning when you think about it. Like, she's kind of beautiful. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Megan, no. Oh my god, Megan! No! Gemma, Kitty's temperature is rising. Her <sighs> room needs to be disinfected and- You look messed up. You look bad. Megan, you look so bad. Megan, Megan! Megan looks cray. You put down. Okay, then what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Fix the hole in your fence? Cause like, you should. You should just fix the hole in your fence, right? Like, it, Megan is in the fault. She was on your property. And now Megan's gonna put this dog down. What's funny is that they brought, like, I just love it that, like, her hair is fine now because that means they had to brush it. <laughs> oh my God. What was that? Where did she come from? Megan is so strong. I love her. Remember we have that demonstration today? <laughs> Side eye. I'll be all right. Ooh, oh my God. 
prediction, Megan sees that Gemma is not a fit parent and tries to kill her because she has not been taking care of Katie. Yeah. Yep. 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 Every day I wake up in this strange house and I remember that my parents are dead. <laughs> They're like, no. Oh my God. I love it that Tell Megan is judging Gemma for her parental happen. skills right now. That's the best thing. Like this, she's looking at her like, this is your job. You are the threat to my girl, Katie. What do you mean? I mean, I'm keeping it for you. Here. One time she found a cockroach in my school bag. This thing crawls up her wrist and she just started screaming like a maniac. Why are the people who made her confused? You should not be confused. You made her. If you should feel alone or that it's a your musical? world has come apart, just reach out and oh you'll see. My. <gasps> her little jelly hand. I finally <laughs> found. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why are they surprised? You would have had to pro you didn't program that song. What do you mean she just came up with a song? You're scaring me. You're scaring me that you didn't know that she was able to do this. Oh my god, I hope there's more songs. Yes, musical. I didn't know this was gonna be a musical. I'm so excited. Cut. I didn't know there was gonna be a mole within the Megan company crew and Megan will take you out. Megan's not a person, Katie, she's a toy. You don't get to say that. What? I said I don't wanna talk about it. Now I'm getting angry. Now this is like a personal issue because what do you mean? You literally manufactured it so that you would not have to take care of her. Like, what do you mean? The whole reason why you sprung up the idea for it was because you didn't wanna take care of her. <gasps> I'm literally fuming now. Now it's like not funny. <laughs> now it's not funny what you're doing to this child. You're using her to benefit your business and now you wanna be like, no, you can't have her. She's not a real person when you literally orchestrated it so she would be like a real person to Katie. And you gave it to her at a time where it's hard to differentiate the two. You made something that would be almost identical to a person and then go, you go around saying it's not a person. Oh my God, now I'm angry. Now this is personal and this is not a joke. Cause that's not funny. If you make a toy that's impossible to let go of, then how do you ever expect a child to grow? And how do you expect to sell more if you can never let go of the one single product? Recalibrating response model. Megan, turn off. Are you sure? Download in progress. This has the same energy of playing Wii Fit and then the Wii Fit screaming at you to get off the board. It's like kind of personal. And it also had just told you that you are obese at seven years old. So it's very personal. That's the type of feeling I'm getting from this movie. That is seriously cool. Ew! That's the most disgusting thing I've ever okay. seen in my life. And I love it so much. I cannot wait till I see everyone in their Halloween costumes posed like that. Yes. Ooh, your coat looks great. Are you ready to find chestnuts in that? Yeah, nice and warm. Bundled up. You know what? I'd like to say I'm against Megan, but I don't think Megan's done anything wrong. Like, it's not her fault. Someone programmed her, so it must be the program's fault. It's not her fault. Oh my God. How did she just get up? How did she just get up? I thought she was turned off. I don't care. You're just a stupid rubber doll with fake hair. <gasps> Ow, let go. You need to learn some manners, Brandon. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> she just ripped off his ear. Oh my God. <gasps> Her hairline. <laughs> Her hairline is crazy. Oh! Oh, no! what, what oh! oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! On all fours. Megan! Why did you do that, Megan? On all fours, ran him into the fucking road. Are you kidding me? But he was bully Katie. I love that. Bulletproof. 
Nothing to lose. Ricochet. You take your ray. This is so fly away, fly Stop. Away. What? I am titanium. Good night, Katie. This is like this is perfect this is so pitch perfect of them oh my god like it takes a brilliant writer to be able to write in stuff like that and have it be like so perfectly placed like this is the perfect mix of it's like so funny but i know they did not make it with that intent and that it's just it's just so well done oh my god i am tired what are you? I've been asking myself that same question. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, you're kidding. <gasps> what? Oh my god! Oh my god! Strap! You were in the park where that boy was killed? He was hit by a car. Are you trying to make a connection? Oh, fuck yeah. Megan's gonna fuck him. Oh my god. She's gonna pin it on her. Oh my god. She's gonna pin all of this stuff on Gemma. Who well, it turned out worked at this incredible toy company, which is where I met Megan. She is literally the best. She is literally the best actress I've ever seen in my entire life. I don't know. There are so many things. She's super smart, obviously. But even though she's just so genuine, like I, it seems like a real kid. Like I, it seems like a real kid that I'm like watching right now. Like she's so good. If you could head out those double doors, take the elevator to the first floor, and get me a kombucha, could you do that? Sure. So why was he taking the data? What was he doing with it? Was he making other ones? Oh my god, he's gonna copy the data, make a bunch of megas, and then the, it, they're literally gonna take over the entire universe. But how did you make it so she's so strong? Like, yeah, she might be able to interfere with like technology and stuff, but like she pulled that dog. How did you make her that strong? Like you must have made her grip like insanely strong or something to be able to pull a dog like that. How is she so strong? <gasps> What are you doing? Oh my god. <gasps> she is so good. Like, she's just so good. She's dancing and she's running with a literal machete. Death count goes crazy in Megan. Oh my god. <gasps> You're lying. Megan? Oh my god, she is a musical star. Listen, humanity kills every day just to make its own existence more tolerable. Why should I behave any differently to create a safe space for our child? Why is she giving like a little philosophical? Megan, don't do that to me. I'm going to show her what real love looks like. Now do us both a favor. <laughs> Sit. The only person that could stop Megan is Katie. Come on, Katie, you can do it. Actually... Do I even want her to stop? You're a beautiful, creative, strong and- Ooh, I wanna feel her touch my hair so bad. <laughs> I want to feel Megan touch my hair so badly, please. I want to fight Megan. I want to fight her so bad. Dude, she kind of is really scary. Like, I know it was like a joke before, but like she is really scary ew her little silicone hands i know they feel insane like little hot dogs <gasps> stop damn how did you get like the fact is that like how did you give her the strength oh my god i wish bruce was the one to save us i wish bruce was the one to like turn on and save them she caught that shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Kill me and live with Katie's grandparents in Jacksonville? You're right, Gemma. Not anymore. You look like shit. And you killed all the people that could have made you look better. Oh my god, I loved it. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted AI versus AI. 
You've got to exit. Oh my goodness, Megan is amazing. She thought she was going to get her with a tune. Dude, I love Megan. R.I.P. Megan. Oh my goodness, thank you. I am so excited that this movie gave me exactly what I wanted. Machine versus machine fight. I'm so glad you gave me that. How the hell is she still getting up? You ungrateful little bitch. Me, turn off! You ungrateful little bitch. Oh my goodness. Like, in actual, like, all seriousness, that is actually a phenomenal ending final sequence. Like, it's actually a good fight scene for the end of this horror movie. I knew it. I knew she'd still be with us. Come on, guys. I love that movie that is going up with like Ma, like Ma and Megan, Ma versus Megan. Ma versus Megan, oh my goodness. And I hope there's a Megan too. I hope that there was a twist that the guy who stole the files actually had them secretly manufactured. So in the second movie, there's millions of Megans to defeat. Yes, I've already written it. I've planned it out. It's amazing. That movie was actually really good. And I'm not, okay. I know this whole time I've kind of just been saying like, oh my goodness, this is so good. But in a, in a very serious way, in a very serious way of looking at this movie, it has the perfect formula for like a timeless classic. And what I mean by that, first of all, it has a great basis story that is actually an interesting story that people want to see. People are very fascinated with technology, AI, and the idea of AI having self-awareness. Great point to start at. And then taking that and adding this element of humor to it, which I don't know if they were actually trying. I think a bunch of the parts that they did with Megan was actually supposed to be funny. Adding this element of humor and taking away that little bit of, you, you know, serious um, outlook on technology where it's like you watch a movie that's like stay away from technology and it's like really serious to the point that you like don't really care anymore. This added an element of humor that made the story so entertaining. A perfect amount of time. I know I, earlier I was like, I wish it was longer. I probably do wish it was longer. I would watch more of it if there was more. Hour and 30 minutes, you have a stellar cast. Penny Nickel Dime Girl for the voice of Megan. Excellent choice. I don't know how she booked it, but I'm so glad she did. She did a phenomenal job. I'm surprised I like it. I thought, I honestly thought I was gonna go into this and be like, oh my goodness, that was so bad, it was good. But I genuinely do think it was like good for what it is. Like I would tell people to go watch this because I think it's a really fun time. And I think a lot of movies nowadays are like, not a lot of movies, but a, a good, chunk of movies especially popular movies have a hard time like executing this and they go too serious or too satire and then it becomes kind of a mess you give me the concept and you give me like the elevator pitch of it like nanny doll turns bad ai self-aware gone really bad awesome love it love it creepy doll i'm already in and then you have the execution where it just keeps hitting on the parts that are so great. Like the fact that she kept singing was impeccable. Usually people would hit, we do that with a one time, they would do one song, they'd be like, that's so funny, we're keeping it in. But they kept hitting with it and it was brilliant. I love it. Thank you, Megan. Thank you to the people who made this movie. Thank you guys for requesting to me to do this movie because I really enjoyed it and I will be talking about it for the rest of my life. I think it actually is gonna hold up fairly well come 10 years this is going to be people gonna be like megan like it, it it's gonna be a household name pretty soon it already is a household name and i don't think she did anything that wrong really because i think Gemma was a bad parent like i don't think she was doing her job as katie's guardian i think megan had to step up to the plate to do what was right she had to protect her from that dog and that boy so i'm honestly at this point i don't even think megan was a villain and she's still with us Please let me know what you guys thought of Megan. I would love to know all your thoughts. Let me know in the comment section down below what your favorite Megan scene was. Mine has to be Bulletproof. Titanium song, like that, breaking out into that song, just like in Pitch Perfect, it is going to be one of the most pivotal songs within cinematic history. We've got it for round number two. The only thing that I would have added more to this movie was more dancing. I would have loved to see more dancing from Megan herself. Other than that, 
almost flawless movie. And that wraps up for today, guys. Let me know what movie you want me to watch next. And I'll see you next time. Bye.